Hello and welcome back to this thing. Whatever. I've been busy, as you can see. I've been busy. But, 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 but. I am going to try a more different approach. A much more different approach. Instead of the non interference run with Portugal, I'm gonna go with the most possible interference run with the Ottomans, because that's exactly the same thing. And in order to give me a more realistic approach, there's gonna be historical leaders, a very hard run, uh, normal AI aggressiveness, spread out land provinces 50 years. Normal spies, Lucky Nation's historical, because I'm one of them. Uh, this might seem weird, but I mean, I have this one saved. <music> Lithuania's just huge, but look at me, I've pretty much just taken over this entire Ar Ar Arabic world. Thing is, I had a really, really hard time because of Castile, or Spain, as it is now. Yeah, Burgundy's just fucking huge. Let's just hope that right now. Right? The Timrids don't just destroy me. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go! Let's see. Uh, straight for innovative, and in order to just save me some time, I just don't. I'm cheating! Don't say anything to anyone, goddammit. Uh,. Oh shit, damn it. Okay, 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 okay. How's my balance? Oh, it's actually good. Oh, huh. nice. But then again, I'm gonna go with National Bank. During my other playthrough, I did go with National Bank, and, you know, it helped. I have zero inflation, right? There we go. Okay, okay, let's do this. Uh, there you go. Okay, playing with an Eastern nation does have its most, its more complicated thing. For one thing, right? I don't have uh, uh, hundred percent resource efficiency. It's Ottoman technology, which is better than Eastern technology, I think. I oh, know Eastern technology is eighty-five percent, which is the same that Russians get and thrust and whatever. I get Ottoman technology, which is 80%, but I get unique troops. I have one kind of troop right now. My objective, right, is to go and westernize, which is again to have to have innovative, right around less than minus two, I think. Innovative less than minus two, so somewhere around here, right? And centralization less than minus one. After that, I just need to have a, uh, you know, Western technology neighbor, and I'll be done. What's my mission right now? Owns Thrust. Yes! Right, damn it. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I got it, I got it. Let me just block this shit. Conquest. Whatever, I'll just go. They are accursed infidels. This is gonna take down the Byzantine Empire as soon as I can. Alright. Plus, plus, it's a bit more difficult because of these guys. This is a Timurid Empire. Uh, historically, historically, Khan Timur, Timurlan, or Timurlan or whatever, was the last great king of the Timurid Empire. After he died, historically, his entire empire went to shit. But now, with Divine Wind, the hordes, like the Golden Horde and these, these, these one, this one, get a revamp. I mean, every five years or so, they automatically go to war with every single person they are neighbored with. And the problem there is that the, you can't actually demand uh, provinces. You can only concede, you can only can demand that either they can see defeat or demand that they pay tribute. Or you can offer them the same thing. The only way for you to start taking territory from the hordes is by colonizing after occupying one of their provinces. Thankfully, they're at war with shitloads of people right now, so I can um, focus on other people. Thank God. Also, made Japan. I united Japan, which is good, which is amazing, considering that Japan starts as 
four different daimyos, or whatever the hell that's pronounced. Burgas. Okay. I thought I told you to go to Thras. Okay, there we go. Giant Daddies with the feet. Celestria. Oh wait, they're allied with Valachia? What? God damn it. That makes no sense. The Byzantine Empire is too proud to ally with Valachia. Thankfully, thanks to one of the very few quirks of the game, right? Uh, I have 14,000 troops here. If a battle is pitched where the one of the sides is at a disadvantage of 10 to 1, you automatically win. The, the, that side automatically loses, right? Because that's a 10 to 1 disadvantage. And since uh, recruited regiments are a thousand, that means I automatically win. Yo, uh, I very much like for you to give me military access so I can go. Oh, fuck you. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, alright, so, 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 oh, wait, wait, wait. One thing at a time. I'm just gonna go and split it. You can't defeat my troops, you bastard. Alright, alright, so, so. They have 2,000 troops there, so I'm gonna move 5,000 directly into Moria. That's Moria with an E, not Moria with an I. Alright, don't get any ideas. No jokes, right? No jokes. Alright, Valachia's gonna Valachia's gonna get fucking vassalized, right? I gotta fucking vassalize. I'm just gonna save it right now. Because having Timur as an, as an enemy is a really, really bad thing. And the problem is, I can only colonize and like thanks to this little small bonus, unless I get the colonial the, the, the plus one thing, you know, plus one per colonist thing, I can only colonize one province every four years. It's just fucking ridiculous. Yo, Valachia! You mind if I vassalize you? Apparently you do. I'll wait. <laughs> okay, Thras is mine. I'm gonna fucking... Is it radical? Well, fuck you! Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. Uh, Ottomans get a whole set of new religious decisions, considering they are Sunni Islam. First of all, establish an Ibadat Kana. Encourage theological debate by establishing a house of worship for philosophers, leaders, and others knowledgeable in the matters of religion, to discuss religious... See, even though they are painted as barbarians by pretty much every Catholic country in this game, I found that Ottomans are much more tolerant of many, are in fact more tolerant. Period. I mean, it's ridiculous. You you have a little thing called Ottoman tolerance, which gives you plus three tolerance of heretics and plus three tolerance of heathens. That's more than any Catholic country will ever have. Even France with the Edict de Nantes, which is just fucking ridiculous. I mean, they're supposed to be barbarians, and yet they're the most tolerant people in this game. I'm not gonna do that. Alright, so I'm gonna force vassalization, and you're gonna pay me 25 ducats. Right. And then you're gonna go, right, Thras, and I'm gonna annex you. I did get the uh, thing, right. I did get the alliance. Oh, god damn it, I didn't! Oh, shit! That was a bad move. I'm not safe scumming, I'm just... I thought that sending two things at the same time would work, but it didn't. So I'm just gonna have to do that all over again. God damn it. Alright, alright. Fuck. Meanwhile, the Timrids are busy. Thankfully. Next stop is gonna be annexing these guys. Right, the Kandar and Karaman and Adana. No, Kant. 
What are their names? It's Kandar, Karaman, and Ramazan. Ramazan. All right. So demand tribute, force vassalization. Won the siege of Moria. Morea, not Moria. Right. Annex. See the rules desire. Oh wait, Moria as revolt risk. God damn it. Oh, this isn't a core. Oh shit. I thought that was a core. God damn it. Vassalize Karaman. Oh fuck you. I'm not gonna vassalize Karaman. I'm gonna conquer Karaman. I wonder if they'll accept this, uh, concede defeat. Yeah, they will. Oh, nice. Problem is, I'm gonna have to. I want to unite Greece under my rule, but that means having to wait until everyone else there is busy with wars. As my, it's 93, so I think I can go with four Muslim cavalry. Uh, let me just save this again. In the last place that I did with the Ottoman Empire, I didn't record it obviously, but in the last playthrough, I was just like saving every two days in game. At war with Algier, reconquest. Am I allied with Algier? God damn it. Yemen and Jailarids. Yeah, I'll just take Hamid. Wait, this is all my core, right? So I get zero. Oh, right, okay. I actually get zero uh, infamy because these are all my cores. And the good thing about the Ottomans is I get shitloads of infantry right off the top. So I can pretty much just go and uh, invade and win. Kataman and Yemen. See? Seriously, every other country, even France or Bohemia, doesn't get enough troops to actually go ahead and fucking... A regency! I was just starting to have fun. Alright. Alright. I'll hold as the heir. Thirteen. Oh, only three more years. Eh, it's three more years and I'll be able to do it. Dewani script, artist advisor level at least four. Do I have a level four advisor? Uh, no. Artist advisor skill at least four. I'm not gonna go with the Wani script. I learned that the other one because I'm gonna turn into an administrative administrative republic as soon as I can. Because a lot of my money is gonna come from uh, trade. So basically, I want to go for the administrative republic and then constitutional republic. What are you doing? Why am I losing? Oh god damn it. Am I losing this? Apparently yes I am. Oh fuck you. Get off Konya! <laughs> gotcha! Oh bastard. Adan we'll revive in Adana, okay. Let me just wait for the morale to come up. Are you kidding me? You're gonna lose? Oh no, okay. Angora. I love these names, they're awesome. Yeah, I'm not gonna let you go that, 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 that easily. You can call all the allies you want. I mean, you're the leader in the war, which means if I take down you, that's over. Ah, oh, god damn it. Is this my core too? It is my core, so still zero in for me, and I get a faster conquering. Oh yeah, thank you for taking care of my job for me. There we go, see? Problem solved. Annex for zero infamy. Ta-da! Vassalize Kandar. No thank you. I'll just go and annex Kandar. Algier. Ejaz, Tunisia, Oman, and Tripoli. Wait. Number of city... What was I able to do? Make Constantinople the capital. Oh! Right, right. What do I need? At peace. Oh well. <laughs> I'll be there in a moment, no worries. I'll be at peace in just, just a few seconds. Alright, can't, can't start wars. 
is the fucking Regency Council. God damn it. Ah. Ottoman Empire. You know what? I'll just make money. Right? I'll just make money. I have more than enough people to make money. Is a vassal of Timurids. Is also a vassal of Timurids. God damn it. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. I mean, a lot of my luck in this game. A lot of my game is going to be determined whether or not the Timurids get bogged down with Delhi right here. Or whether or not Indistan forms. Because if it does, they're pretty much fucked. <laughs> Seriously, the Timurids get their asses kicked by Indistan every single time. Thank you! 666. Others would make jokes, but I'm not that petty. Expanded bureaucracy. I'm sorry, Kandar, but I'm gonna have to go and uh, call Reconquest on your ass. There we go, see the problem solved. No, I, I need Anatolia under my belt, because that way, when the uh, Simrids come around, I'll be able to hold my ground, if not even take uh, one province. I need five colonists for that, though. I actually need, you know, five colonists. Come on, get there! I'm gonna get four infamy because Trebizond is not actually part of my core territory. Yay! Air to the throne! Nice. Add it to the Timurid Empire, just gonna randomly call war on me any second now. Hejaz and Homan. Unless you want to negotiate a white piece, you can rightfully fuck off. Thank you. Come on. Any second now. Any second now. Ah, oh, goddammit. There we go. Please just travel on. See, for into me. It's fine, it's fine. I'm, I, I'm well within my limit, right? My limit is what? 35.50. So yeah, I'm within my limit. I don't even know what my... Okay. Yo, Edja. Yo, Morocco. White Peace, thank you. Edja. Edjaz. Want White Peace? Thank you. Conquer Kappa. Oh, I hate this mission. I'll just take it, whatever. By the way, I'll try to make... make I'll try to get Greece. Thank you, stability. Almost to the end of the video. No problem, I'm having a lot of fun with this. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Let's see if I can get the Greece mission. Oh, please let it be the Greece mission. Conquer the last Crusader Bastion. Owns roads. Oh well. Same thing, really. No. <laughs> Shit. Because in real life that happened. Damn it. Oh my God. I need to start that. I don't want to declare war on these assholes just yet. When is the Timurids? 1406. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. The time is coming. One, two. I need to. Four, five. I need to fucking weaponize my country. Right. Because the war with the Timurids is going to be a long, bloody, drawn-out one. Especially considering I don't have enough colonists. That, however, seems to be material for another video because I'm pretty much at my limit. I just hope none of these assholes decide to declare war on me. Where's my balance? Oh, it's good. It's good. Wait, maybe I have enough money to maintain a different, separate army in, uh... Where can I keep this one? I need at least 15 supply limit. There we go. I need to try and keep a 7... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I think I have enough money to maintain 7 Muslim cavalry units here. It's 80 a year, so it's 80 positive net worth a year, so yeah. The mom looks. 
What the hell you want now? Oh, fuck you! I'm not gonna go to one with a Mamlux. I don't care. Fuck that shit. Yo, Mamlux! You wanna roll marriage? Thank you! Just so I'm sure. Thank you! That's just awesome. See, now I'm allied with the biggest Muslim power in existence right now. I don't think- I don't count these guys as Muslim, even though, you know, they have... Sunni Islam as their main religion. Now they're, they're barbarians. They're, they're, they're nomads. Right, they're nomads. So what's my balance? It's 44. I can actually go for the 10,000 unit army in Macedonia. So one, two, three. So just in case I get surprised... Oh, there you go! Timrids! Okay, so while... The... Uh, Mamluks are busy being my scapegoat. I'm gonna try and take Erserum through the use of colonists. But that, of course, is material for another video. So I bid thee farewell, and up until the next video, stay sharp, and I'll be right with you.